Students, welcome back to biology class. We are discussing topic classification of animals. In our previous class, we discussed that the animal kingdom is classified on the basis of absence or presence of backbone. Animals with backbones are called vertebrates, while animals without backbones are called invertebrates. We also learned that vertebrates are further divided in five classes. Pisces, amphibians, reptiles, aves, and mammals. We will discuss them one by one. Pisces. Basic characteristics of Pisces. So the main features of Pisces or fishes are as below. They are aquatic animals. They have streamlined body. That is, body is narrow at both ends. They swim with the help of fins. They are cold-blooded animals, that is, they can change their body temperature as per surrounding temperature. Their body is covered with scales. They breathe through gills. They give birth by laying eggs. Fish are aquatic animals that can live in fresh water or salt water. They are oviparous, meaning they are born from eggs. They have fins to move around the water and they have a tail at the end of their bodies, helping them to swim easily. As you can see, their bodies are covered in scales. Because they are aquatic animals, they breathe through their gills. They are cold-blooded animals, which means their body temperature varies depending on the water. And they have a simpler skeleton than other vertebrates. Class Amphibia Basic characteristics of amphibia So the main features of amphibians are as follows. Amphibians live in water as well as on land. Their body is covered with slimy and slippery skin. They are cold-blooded animals, that is, they also can change their body temperature as per their surrounding temperature. Most of them have two pair of legs. They are adapted for making long jumps. They give birth by laying eggs in water. They breathe through the lungs and their moist skin. Amphibians are oviparous animals, which mean they are born from eggs. The babies are born in the water and breathe through their gills. When they grow up, they can live on land or in the water and breathe through their lungs and skin. Their skin is moist and they don't need hair. They are cold-blooded animals, which means their body temperature varies depending on the air temperature. Class Reptilia So the main features of reptiles are as follows. They are mostly found on land. Some live in water too. They have dry skin which is covered with scales. They are cold-blooded animals that they also change their body temperature as per their surrounding temperature. They crawl on land with the help of four short legs. Some of the reptiles do not have legs. Females lay soft shelled eggs on land. They breathe through the lungs. Reptiles are oviparous animals, meaning they are born from eggs. Their bodies are covered in hard scales. Their legs are really short. Actually, some don't even have legs, like snakes. Some reptiles have a shell, like a turtle. Good morning, turtle. They are cold-blooded animals, which means their body temperature varies depending on the air temperature. They breathe through their lungs. They usually live in warm places. Did you know that reptiles live longer than any other animal? Some, like turtles, can live up to a hundred years. So we just learned that some turtles can live up to hundred years. Do you know why? 
think about it. So in today's class, we discussed about three classes of vertebrates, class Pisces, class Amphibia and class Reptilia. Thank you and stay safe.